A large study on masks details their importance in the fight against COVID. For an in-depth look, we spoke to one of the lead authors of that study. Researchers at Stanford, Yale, and UC Berkeley analyzed 350,000 adults in Bangladesh. Now they took half of that group and encouraged them to wear masks. 29% of them compiled, uh, complied with that for about a 10 week period. They found that masks in general provided a 9% reduction in cases. Surgical masks were even more efficient, reducing cases by 11%. Uh, Ashley Stusinski, one of the lead authors in the study and an infectious disease fellow at Stanford, says the results offer a glimpse of just how much masks matter. So overall, we felt that this demonstrated that masks are highly effective in reducing COVID-19 and that if we were able to achieve even more uptake than the 29 percentage point increase we saw, we would have probably been able to measure a greater effect. The study found people 60 and older, they fared even better. Surgical masks prevented 35% of COVID cases in that population. But I think it was very striking though to still observe that in this really high risk population, we were able to have the greatest impact. Mr. Chinsky also says the findings prove that surgical masks are likely more effective than cloth against the virus. You should use the most effective mask that's available to you to get the best protection. So if you have access to a surgical mask, that's great. It's probably going to protect you better than a cloth mask. That study was done when the alpha variant was most dominant. So coming up at six o'clock, we're going to talk with the author again and get what she thinks the impact of the delta variant would have had on all of those findings.